And you know what's also crazy and exciting about the Pegasus lineup? For $95, they have a shoe for... Here we go, here we go. Rock and roll time, everybody. Pegasus 37 arriving in the running shoe rotation. But first, here we go, Pegasus 35 of 2018. Remember this shoe, everybody? Pegasus 36 of 2019. And now the much anticipated Pegasus 37. There they are, but craziness. Nike sent me the ladies version, so not sure what that's all about, but it's actually gonna work out pretty well because there's a pretty significant difference between the, the ladies version and the men's version of the new Pegasus 37, which I'll talk about once I get back from my first impression run, not my full review, that'll happen after 50 miles. Once I get back from my first run in this shoe, um, I'll break down the differences between the men's version and the ladies version. So uh, not sure what happened there, but nonetheless, we're gonna take them out for their first run. Let's lace up, here we go. Oh, I must say they're looking pretty fly, pretty fly. And we're back, and we're back. Here we go, Pegasus 37, first impressions in the studio. Oh, if this is your first time to the shoe, this is my this is my shed where I do running shoe reviews. So it's called the Shootio. All right. So if it's your first time, welcome. Here we go. Um, today's run. Oh man, I don't know what got into me. So three days ago, I think it was three days ago, went to Boulder, Colorado, got some vertical about 4,000 feet, and it was my first bigger mountain running of the season, and I'm really sore but that did not impact my run today in the Pegasus 37. I don't know what got into me, but I was just cruising, just cruising, just felt so smooth, so good, and even though I am sore, so it was really baffling, but today, 15 miles, 6.30 a mile along the Platte River. There's a couple shots for you, and uh, it was epic. So, and there it is on your screen in kilometers as well. So I'm very pretty excited thus far about the new updates. Oh yeah, real, wanna make it real clear. I'm gonna do my best not to turn this into a running shoe battle vlog between the Peg 35, the Peg 36 down there, and there's the Peg 37. We'll do another vlog at some point. There's just too much to talk about to do a full on running shoe battle, but it is cool to see the iterations of Pegasus evolve. And let's do it. Question of the day right now, who has run in the Pegasus lineup ever? And I think we should do a little contest down in the comments. Who can go like, who can go the furthest back with the Pegasus lineup? Frankly, for me, it's just the Pegasus 35, but like, has anybody worn like before the Pegasus 30? Like, let us know down in the comments, like what's the oldest Pegasus you remember? That's the question of the day. Oh, so cool. And you know what's also crazy and exciting about the Pegasus lineup for $95, they have a shoe for kids. I'd say that's brilliant. Like, it's just brilliant. Frankly, I'm just gonna say marketing on Nike's part. Like, I have active, active boys and they're always asking me for new running shoes and it's hard to find like good kids running shoes so oh i'm just very excited that pegasus uh, also comes out in a kids version as well all right let's dive into it shall we oh some specs for all of you 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe 28 millimeter in the heel 18 in the forefoot. Now I'm seeing a couple conflicting reports, uh, a slightly uh, lower stack height, but uh, that's the most reliable source that I often go to that I was able to find 28 and 18 for that 10 millimeter slope, which is a little higher for a daily trainer. Usually I prefer the six to eight millimeter range, but it did not bother me today. And they did add two millimeters of stack height to the Pegasus 37, just so you know. And I almost forgot to mention that this is like Nike definitely sent me the wrong shoe. Here on your screen is a confirmation for my shipping. So I, I ordered the men's seven, so it did not arrive 
five anyway. And so for women's size eight, we're looking at 8.4 ounces or 238 grams. Men's size nine, 9.6 ounces or 272 grams. And again, because I don't have my size right now in my hands, I can't give you my size at this point. Now let's dive into that brand new translucent mesh upper. There we go. But before we do that, hold on, hold on. Let me pull out the Turbo 2 here from 2019. So I had a little fun with everybody on Strava today. I, I titled my run Pegasus 37 or Pegasus Turbo 3, question mark, meaning is this the Pegasus 37 or am I running in another turbo because it performed frankly so well today. So I'll get back to that in a minute. Here's the Turbo 2. Many people love this shoe from 2019, but the reason I titled my run today on Strava, uh, that is because this upper is a game changer. Huge update to the Pegasus lineup. Again, not gonna turn this into a running shoe battle, but like, oh man, so much more breathable, so much lighter. Um, I actually didn't mind the fly wire cables from previous iterations, but now they have replaced the fly wire cables here through the eyelet chain that wraps over the top of your foot, your midfoot there, to give you that lockdown uh, through that midfoot and it's bands now, which frankly, it makes more sense. If they're wider and the fly wire cables, some people did report that they cut into the top of their foot just a little bit. I never experienced that, but these bands, oh, it was awesome. It just was awesome, everyone. So coupled with the tongue, uh, and yes, the tongue is gusseted, absolutely. Um, I think every shoe basically these days is coming out with a gusseted tongue. So it's a gusseted tongue toe box okay i can't really comment on the toe box because nike sent me a ladies version so it was a little snug in there but uh we made it through and the collar of the shoe absolutely amazing heel tab absolutely amazing i will come back to the fit here in one second bottom line upper mm, mwah, mwah. Ah, me amore. And let's dive into the midsole. Here we go. The really the heart of the shoe, the midsole that absorbs your, your foot strike and your pounding on the pavement or the concrete, or I even ran on a little dirt today. So it did fine on the dirt, uh, you know, buffed out trail type of running. So here we go, full react foam through the midsole. And now uh, an airbag. So a little air pocket uh, underneath the forefoot. And remember what I mentioned outside the couch, I'm actually not too upset that Nike sent me a ladies version because now I can do a cross test between, I will I will get the men's version, it might even arrive today, stay tuned. Uh, I can do a cross test between uh, the PSI, all right, the pounds per square inch in that airbag under the forefoot. So the ladies version is, uh, let's see, is 15 PSI and the men's version is 20 PSI. Why? Because Nike uh, did some research, talked to customers, and, and a lot of the ladies were asking for a slightly softer and more, I would say, like bouncier ride through the forefoot, okay? So the PSI in the airbag inside this midsole, oh, also I should mention, it's closer to the foot in that React foam. So I felt it today. And frankly, the pace today and just how my legs are sore and I was able to hold that pace really just cruising along like it, it felt really, really nice. Um, and again, I will do the cross comparison here very soon, maybe even later today uh, between the men's the men's PSI and then the ladies PSI. So there you go. Very excited about this. Oh, also two millimeters extra stack height. Boom. Um, I'm not like, I'm not saying I need to run in shoes that are always high stack height, like 30 plus or 32 plus millimeter, but I like, I like the extra two millimeters. It uh, felt really nice today. Again, I'm resisting, resisting comparing to the 35 and the 36 right now. And for the outsole, here we go. Duralon blown rubber. Oh, they, they brought it back, everybody. They brought the waffle pattern back. Going, you know, throwback to Bill Bowerman and the original Nike. So this outsole tread pattern, uh, very reminiscent of a waffle iron. It's just, I just love it. I love it. And uh, a very large decoupled groove through this outsole. And frankly, again, I think I love it. Uh, just gives a little bit of, I don't know, just a little extra, 
I'm gonna say almost like a little bit of a trampoline feel. Uh, if you're, especially if you're a heel striker, I think I'm, I'm not, I try to be more midfoot and forefoot, but I think if you are a heel striker, you will like the fact that there's a decouple, like I'm just pressing inside the shoe right now and you probably can't see it, but it just acts a little bit like a trampoline I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant engineering there. So very excited about the outsole. Um, yeah, no, no, no other comments. It's just good. It's good. For the fit and the comfort, I can't really comment on the fit right now. Stay tuned again. Men's version showing up, I think, later today. So hopefully I can give you some thoughts at the end of the vlog. We shall see. Comfort, you already know. It's just epic. The upper's epic. Uh, really comfortable. Gusseted tongue, amazing. Uh, midsole ride, amazing. I, I just, there's nothing else to say. On to my positive and drawback. So my positive, oh, it's hard to choose one. I'm gonna go, again, just my first impression, full review will happen after 50 miles, which I foresee in the next two weeks, okay? So stay tuned for the full review, but um, my positive is gonna be, it's just, it's more responsive. I'm just gonna say it, than the, than the other Pegasus shoes. Like, that's why I posted that on Strava. Like, it just felt like I, I could go faster if I wanted to. So um, again, I'll keep testing and I will test the men's version very soon. Okay, drawback, it's actually kind of a major drawback. Uh, I had some heel slipping, but again, it's a lady's shoe. And the first time I lace up a new shoe, I never quite get the right lockdown uh, through the, you know, through the runner's knot. And so I will continue to figure out why was my heel slipping today because there is a little there is a little pocket there for your heel to sit in. I like it through the heel counter. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but it's, it was pretty significant heel slipping. So again, stay tuned. I'll keep you posted on that. Now, how will I use the Pegasus 37 moving forward? That is the question. Oh man, you're putting me in a pickle here. I'm gonna say, all right, actually, I already know a very, very critical, important running shoe battle that's gonna have to go down very soon. Remember the, I'm not gonna tell you the shoe, remember the shoe that I was very excited about about two months ago, not from Nike. I think you all probably know what I'm talking about. I think it's time for, all right, I'll just say it, the Nova Blast versus the Peg 37. That's how it's feeling. So not an easy day shoe, not a tempo day shoe, I mean, it just looked like maybe, I mean, I went 15 miles today at 6.30 a mile and I felt great. And it was like just cruising. So I think it's time for a Nova Blast versus Peg 37 battle coming up very, very soon. Who is this shoe best for? Somebody that likes a, a bouncier ride and a cushioned ride, okay? Bouncier and cushioned, not a lot of ground contact feel through the foot strike. You you probably figured out, figured that out, figured that out all ready. And onto that price point, here we go. A hundred and twenty dollars. Yup, yup. That's right where it should be. If it was one ten, I think we'd all be doing backflips. But a hundred and twenty is not too shabby, um, especially if it can cover different tasks in our training regimen. Oh man! I mean, could this be a long run shoe? Could this be a middle distance day shoe? Could this be, I don't think it could be like take it to the track type of shoe. Uh, but again, I will continue testing. For all of you, butter the bread, onward and upward. Thanks for being here. First impressions in the studio. Hold, hold that outro. Let's just make sure uh, these men's versions have not shown up while I was in the studio. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna save the big box here. I don't know what that is, but I do know what these are. Oh man, what are the chances? Like just craziness, just craziness, everyone. Oh baby, all right, <laughs> here we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. There's the men's iteration. So here's the deal uh, on Strava today, or sorry, Strava yesterday, I might go out for a second run today is the bottom line. I don't know if the vlog is over, but there's the men's version in black, looking good. And yes, uh, actually on your screen right now is the weight in my size. Okay, so now you know the weight in my size. We did it, we did it, we did it before the vlog was over. So that is cool. Okay, uh, onward and upward. Uh, the vlog might be over, it might not be over. If it is over, roll the outro. Studio. Woo! I am, I'm, I'm amped up. I'm also amped up because that was my biggest 
and fastest run really in like three weeks because of the 50 mile run I did and then the marathon, which was like hard, hard, hard. So I feel like my fitness is still there and I'm, I'm coming back around. We're coming back around together, everybody. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Onward and upward. Okay, I think we're gonna toss it back to, you know what, I think we'll do the Nike Pegasus 36 uh, re review right there or I might choose the Nike running shoe playlist. I don't know yet, but one of them will be right there in case you wanna click through and uh, check out some more vlogs, all right? Uh, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.